everyone, it is Nancy Taylor here from HeyNancyTaylor.com and on this channel you will see videos all about teaching online, growing your brand and becoming the best version of you. And I am in southern Utah on a cliff. <laughs> I keep trying to find the shade, the sun keeps finding me. I literally climbed up this mountain right here. I'm literally on a cliff. <laughs> To film this video, I risked my life for you. You clicked on this video because you want to hear more details about selling a course online. Should you sell a course online as an, an online teacher? And also, my story on how I was able, oh, to kill that bug on my forehead. <laughs> how I was able to have a six figure launch. I want to go over the strategy that I used and share with you my story. So first of all, let's start with my story. I am an online teacher. I teach others also how to recruit. That is what my courses are. And how did I come up with those courses? I started with the YouTube channel and I was asked over and over, how do you recruit, how do you recruit? And instead of pushing all of those questions, like I don't have time for this, I thought, how could I create a business out of this? How could I create a product that I am being paid for, my expertise, and then they're also gaining so much from this. They're gaining the opportunity to recruit, the opportunity to create a brand. There is just so, too many, two sides to this. And so I got very excited about helping others to recruit, helping others to grow their YouTube channel. And that's where it all started. So when I started to think about what could my course have inside, I called up other teachers that I knew were interested in recruiting and I asked them what were their struggles. I asked them specifics. I did a lot of research, market research, on what was holding them back from recruiting or what had they tried in the past and didn't work because I was creating my coursework in alignment with what their concerns were, with what they were trying and struggling with and then I taught them my system where I had seen success and I laid it out, step one, two, three, four. That was my course and the neat thing is as I launched my course, I was constantly asking for feedback back. What worked well for you? What would you like to see more of so I could make it better and better? Now with my course, I learned from my girl crush, Amy Porterfield. I always like to hear when others have a success story like, that's a horn. <laughs> Who did you learn from? Who was your mentor? So I want to share with you, I learned from Amy Porterfield and I also learned a course from Rick Mulready. I shared leading up to my course, but I haven't shared with you the results. What has happened? What has come to play because of me having this idea to create a course and then also launching it? So first of all, I had 300 teachers join my course. 300 blown away, blown away. And when I had 300 teachers, I knew that there was a definite need for this. It was like, the first time you launch a course, you're not quite sure like, will it be an explosion or will it be a And the only way you can find out is to move forward with it and to get that research and that input. So you're not going in blind, you're not like, I hope it does something. I already knew that teachers were interested in this. I had the same question over and over. Now, when I launched my course with 300 students, I had no idea that I would hit six figures in that one launch. It was only open for 14 days and it's six figures in January. Like I was just blown away that I could do that on my own. I've recruited and made multiple six figures with recruiting for VIP Kid. I've recruited for an online ESL company, but it didn't happen all in one month. And also, it was another company paying me. It wasn't me directly to customer. It just, I am so excited about this. I am excited if you are thinking your mind is going and this is a good fit for you. So let's go over the strategy I used so that you can move forward if you have an idea for a course. First of all, step number one is to grow your brand, your audience, know your audience. So whether you have a YouTube channel, whether you have weekly content on a blog or a podcast, maybe you have a social media account, you know your audience, what they're needs are and you're talking with them. Call them up on a phone. I scheduled Zoom calls with five teachers and I asked them specifics about recruiting and about building a brand so that I could cater to their needs. And then number two, once you have this audience, you know their problems, you create a course that solves a problem. I'm not just telling them everything I know. It's very specific and I'm solving a problem. How to build a brand with YouTube and how to recruit. That is the problem that I solve in my course. Now the, after the second thing, after you've figured out the problem you wanna solve, the third thing is you need to grow that traffic. And to grow your traffic, I used YouTube. So I have YouTube videos. I looked at which videos, the five people I had talked to, which videos attracted them to recruiting. And a lot of them said, when I saw your income, I was like, yeah, I wanna do that. So I knew that before I launched, I needed to do, an income video, a wrap up from the year, and this brought in a ton of people. 
please no bugs come get me. <laughs> I'm like in a little nook and cranny. <laughs> Alongside my YouTube channel, I started an email list. And if you're like, what is an email list? Do I need that? You better subscribe to this channel because I have videos talking about an email list and why you need to start growing one ASAP. <laughs> I had no idea what it was, not even a year ago. It was like six months ago. I did not know what an email list was and now I have found the importance of an email list in a business. Just a short version of explaining what an email list is, you don't own your subscribers, your followers on Instagram, but your email list, you're directly in their inbox. A lot of my followers or my subscribers won't see every video that I post, but they usually see the emails that I send because they go directly to their inbox. Now they have to subscribe by law. You cannot just put all the emails you know and then start emailing them every week. They will not be happy about that. They will be so sad. <laughs> Make sure that they signed up for it and they can also unsubscribe. I would recommend starting with either MailChimp or ConvertKit. Those are two programs that work really well. I use Kajabi for my business and that's because it has my website, it has my coursework, it has my email, it just has everything in one package. It is more pricey, but when I decided to do a course, I said I'm going to, going to go all in and I'm going to do this correctly. So do not skimp all over. If you truly want to hit that six figure mark on a launch, go all in. I would always ask my husband, is it okay if I invest $10,000 to build this? And he said, yep, if you're willing to lose it. And I said, I sure am. It is a little riskier to go big, but then the results are <laughs> They're insane. So the second thing was an email list. Start building your email list. The third, I started to do Facebook ads. So the Facebook ads would lead to my freebie. So for your email list, that's what they're doing is they're subscribing to a freebie, they give you their email, and then you give them a freebie. Now your freebie is in alignment with your course. So mine is five steps to start recruiting. Leads directly into my webinar, which we're going to go to next, but it also leads directly into my course. So five steps to start recruiting is my freebie. I had Facebook and Instagram ads going to the freebie. Now if you're like, why is she paying for people to get her freebie because I want their email. I want them to grow my email list because when I'm ready to market, when I'm ready to launch my course, I email them. <laughs> so I have them there. My email list can be growing all year, every day. But if I'm not launching Evergreen or if my course is not available all the time, then I need to make sure that I am growing my business, subscribers, followers, and that email list. So important. Make sure that you have a funnel to your freebie. Now, after I've grown my following, so using those three, let's review, YouTube, and then I had my email list, and then I used Facebook and Instagram ads to grow my traffic. After I had built up this traffic and I was building my course on the back end, you can either Either film your course and create all the content beforehand if you want it all released at once or you can film as you go. I had a combination of both. I had some prepared ahead of time so it would be a smooth launch and then I started to record later modules as we were going through the content and I'm very grateful that I did because it gave me a clearer picture on the concerns and the needs of those that were inside my course, my students. I really was in tune with what their thoughts were. Motorcycle! <laughs> and the sun. Oh, it feels good, the sun's going down just a little bit. Don't you love being outside? I'm gonna give you a panoramic view, don't worry. You will see the view other than this little nook and cranny that I'm in. <laughs> All right, the fourth part to the strategy that I use is the actual launch funnel, and I learned this from Amy Porterfield, and I love her. Again, I have a girl crush on her, it's fine. Dave accepts it. <laughs> I will leave link below her information and also her course I got started with was List Builders and I loved that. And then the course that I took for selling a course was Digital Course Academy. Again, her information is below. I also have a portion inside my own course, Beyond Teaching ESL Online, and that goes over how to sell a course. I teach my students how to go further with their brand. And if you're thinking, how do I get into Nancy's course? What do I do? Just snag my free guide. It's five steps to start recruiting. It's link below or in the iCard and then I will notify you when the gates are open, when the card is open, when you can purchase that course and jump into my next cohort. I would love to have you. If you are like, yes, I am the person you are talking to, Nancy. This is something I wanna do. Or maybe you're kind of on the fence and need more information. I have a live masterclass, so make sure that you grab the free guide and I'll let you know when that is live, when it's open. Yay! 
Okay, what is the funnel? That was a big side tangent. What is the funnel? The funnel is a webinar funnel. So my traffic comes, number one, traffic comes, and it could be from YouTube, email list, or from traffic, paid traffic on Facebook or Instagram is what I paid for, and then they sign up for my webinar. Whereas before, I was sending them to my freebie. So I put my freebie on hold, now they're signing up for a webinar. I have the cart open, for 14 days, 14 days they can purchase. Now seven days before the cart opens, they can sign up for the webinar. I had four webinars. These are just like a Zoom session, a live masterclass where I teach them for an hour. I'm covering not the product. I'm not explaining exactly what the product is. I'm talking about my story, my journey. I'm explaining the transformation that they want to see. And I'm talking about the objections that they may have coming in their mind. I don't have time, I don't have the money. These are things that commonly come up. And I'm tackling those. I'm saying, I know you're thinking this. I know you're thinking this. And I speak directly to my audience. I know my audience and I can talk to them in a way that I can find the right person for this course. I'm not just saying, this is the course module one, two, three. That's not exciting. I'll get to that, but I need to make sure I find the right person and they're in the right mind space. I wouldn't want someone to invest that is not yet ready for it or they haven't prepared ahead of time or found, is this a good fit for me? I want to make sure that they are a good fit for my program. Now at the end, I explain the program, I tell them the pricing, and then I send them on their way. I say, see ya. And I have an email sequence that follows up, so sign up webinar email sequence that follows up and you can see a lot of cells in the post webinar email sequence and those are emails that are going to them they're all scheduled out I'm not on the computer schedule this email <laughs> I've already created all of this ahead of time and that's the beautiful thing is it's automated when, when you're creating it it is a ton of work but once you've created it magic it seriously is magic and I'm so excited about this I'm excited to dive deeper into details with my own students but if you're thinking yes this could be a really good fit for me and my my brand, I've become very excited about what you're explaining, Nancy, then definitely get into my email list. Let me know. I would love to help you out with this. After that, after I have closed the cart, then I had my students, 300 students in there. I bawled. I cried. I was so humbled. I still am so humbled and grateful to be a part of so many teachers' journeys. And the stories of their success, they always make me cry. It's zero subscribers to hundreds and zero referrals to I'm getting double digits. I'm getting 10 a month. I'm getting five a month. I had never thought I could do this. And they're overcoming that challenge of not believing in themselves. A lot of times it takes a coach to believe in you to kind of give you that momentum to start believing in yourself. And I love hearing their stories. It fills my cup. I know that I am where I was called to be, teaching teachers, helping them to not only teach in the classroom, but also to increase their income, their influence, and also make a better life for themselves and their family. It takes time, it's not easy. So if you are thinking, yes, I am a hard worker, I'm willing to learn, I'm a good student, then I think it's a good fit for you. I definitely do. All right, so we come to the conclusion, whether you know what a course is before this video, or maybe you are already are creating a course or maybe you now have some light bulb moments of thinking of courses, whatever place you are at, I hope this video gave you value in explaining my story and how I launched a course and then also explain to you the strategy that I took to launch my course and see six figures within one launch. I am so grateful, so humbled, and I hope that you stick around. If you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I do videos for teachers and also for those wanting to build a YouTube channel, build their brand, and to build passive income. I'm so excited for you and I'll catch you in the next video here in St. George. It's half my son. <laughs> son. <laughs> I should have been over here. It's fine. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.